I usually say this is kind of like a adultment unboxing plus me just wanting to show some cool stuff. Because I want to show off to people, you know, I'm a full human being. I'm not just some hobgoblin just speedruns all day and doesn't have a life or hobbies or interests. Since that's probably like the common trope with speedrunners. So yeah, it's this is like an unboxing slash showing all of you some neat stuff that I found slash made slash is here. I deleted my snap as well, such a rubbish platform. It is indeed very rubbish. I deleted my snap once I left high school. Yeah, that was around the same time I considered deleting mine since. Uh, of course, I had all my schoolmates on my Snapchat, but I only talked to two of them, and one of them I already had on Discord. And the other guy, he wasn't really like that much of a friend to me, or like Neat. I didn't consider him that one. Deep throat, tight, tight 87 cock for $33 million. Uh, if Tay Tay consented, and if Tay Tay consented, then sure. But yeah, I have this, uh, this package came in. Make sure my address is not on it. On it. This package. It's a big one. And thank you for the one bit pattern. Oh, I also, as per tradition, let me, pl let me play the intro. Hold on. Daldament unboxing segment. Where I unbox packages on stream. <laughs> I haven't played that video in months. I'll close my eyes and listen to Kanye West music. If that's what if that's what helps you get through adventure. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna give you a link. A chain link fence. That I'm gonna put up around your house to guard your house room. I'm gonna give you that type of link. Okay. Oh, by the way, this, this package comes in from uh, Akron, Ohio, I think. I think at least. Wait, let me, uh, you sound disappointed? What do you mean? Um, about what? I'm not pretty excited. Oh, with that, oh yeah, that's, I mean, that's kind of like the point. It's like, like, obviously I put effort into the video to make it like, with the transitions and text and stuff, but it's juxtaposed with the low effort voice. It's supposed to be like a funny pairing. I don't know. It's, I was going for some like complex humor there, and it I guess fell fell on its face. They sent him the wrong dildo color. I didn't even order a dildo, but okay. This is really secured on tight. Do not bring in the Ohio meme. We're, we're long past that. Do not. He really secured this package. Now it's funny, I was just pointing it out, imagine the price is right, but with such a basic bitch tone of voice. Yeah, it would be. Alright, now 
it's open. Chose the cutting of the box. I mean, I had to do it on the floor since I had to use force. But uh, I'll show you this much. Let me just cross out my social security number that's on the package. Social security number on your address? No, it's now it's a joke. Okay, now it, the box has been cut open. I can show you that much because I had to use force. And if I was to show it, I'd like kind of angle the camera downwards. Okay, but well, here it is, and look what's inside. Styrofoam pellets. So I'm gonna do my best to not move these around so it doesn't get on my floor. A small handful of pellets. Actually, this isn't this isn't styrofoam. It's asbestos. Oh crap! Damn, this, this is bigger than what I imagined. Damn. This is way bigger. Damn. Here's the thing. Just don't eat it like cereal. Prove it, eat one? No. I don't think I'm gonna do that, actually. Yeah, but here's the, the thing. This guy really took care of this. That's a weird looking adult toy. Probably because it isn't. <laughs> That's a lot of styrofoam in a big box. Yeah, but shout out to the homie in Archon or Akron, wherever. Alright, let me cut this open. I mean, technically, it can be used as an adult toy. You just have to be very, very courageous, which I am not. Nicely wrapped, review, AAA++++ for wrapping. I'll leave that as a review. Bottles of water, real nice next near electronics. That's real smart. Good job. Oh, there's, there's one more piece of tape. All right, here it is. Oh damn, this is this is, this is way big. Damn. Trying to be careful with this. Electrolytes, yeah. Then you can smell that too. Alright, yeah, here's the thing. It's a big ass keyboard. I can hear I can hear stuff moving it. Yeah, yeah this is a um I was trying to go for an IBM uh, keyboard, but this is the best one since like a competing brand at the time. It's an old school terminal keyboard, meaning big, 
A lot of keys. All right, dude, you wanna, you wanna see how old this thing is? Look at the plug on this keyboard. You wanna see old? Look at that plug. Have you ever, you ever seen that on a keyboard? That means it's old. A key, I don't know how to repair a keyboard, are you kidding me? I just said, I just said something's moving in here. It doesn't mean it's a essential part. I don't know how to break a, not break. I don't know how to fix a keyboard, are you kidding me? I'm not ordering a broken keyboard. <laughs> yeah, this is an old school thing. It just seemed neat because this current keyboard is like a, is literally like a $7 Walmart keyboard. Just pop the keyboard and get rid of the snot balls. I mean, that's not repair, that's just like maintenance. I can do that easy. Anyone can open a keyboard, just smash it. True. I can do that. This looks very... Also, there's two... There's 24 function keys on, keys on this thing, too. Also, this sticker that no one asked for. It's a blemish, or the sticker. Alright, now I'm going to plug in, and luckily... Even though this uh, this new PC I have is extremely modern, I, I believe I remember seeing this type of plug on the back. So it still features like you know backwards compatibility. I'm gonna plug in this bad boy and see it uh, see it in action. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, PS slash two. That's what it is. Yeah, the good old days. All right, I believe it's plugged in. Luckily, I didn't have to get a PS2 to a USB converter, so. All right, chat, what do you want to be my first ever words typed on this keyboard to be? I'm gonna open up a text. Source. Anal bead porn. The, the 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 synchronicity between you two was amazing. You typed essentially the same thing. <laughs> um, since REM is VIP, I give priority to my VIP. So, <laughs> all right, first my first ever words on this will be porn. It's not typing. Fuck. Is there a switch on it or? There's little legs. I gotta open. Maybe wait, maybe it's like configure it in settings or devices. I'm sorry to blue ball you like that. Yeah, that's a false start. I didn't mean to tease. Devices. USB keyboard. USB composite device. Balls have been blued, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for doing that. Let me, um. This is most likely the USB thing. Oh, 
I'll just do the classic unplug replug. Go to device manager, see if it's been registered. I guess it can work as a plug and play. Uh, device manager. Uh, keyboards, here we go. HID keyboard device. USB input device. Okay, it's reading two, in, two USB input devices for keyboard with the same name. And this one obviously is in USB. There's, there's no on switch, I'm guessing, on this. Oh, Christ, it's opened. You can hear and smell the age on this thing, chat. Damn. Network adapters, uh, controller system devices. Like really old plastic and rubber. PCI Express root port, no. Hmm. I right, do a quick little uh, Google googling. Windows doesn't recognize PS dash two keyboard. When Windows go to device manager and check keyboards, if there is a PS slash two keyboard, but not working, try uninstalling the device. Uninstalling. How can I uninstall it if it's not even there though? Now you go, need help connecting a PS two keyboard to Windows 10. Play the device and run the hardware troubleshooter. Once this is done, reset the computer and check the status. The mouse? Why, why the mouse settings? Is that a mouse? Okay, all these uh, re call for restarting my computer, so obviously can't do that while I'm streaming. That was a weird sound. Let me check one more time. There's no on switch for this keyboard. Who knows of these old ones? It's just a wire, damn. Check the pins. Wait, let me make sure I didn't buy, I make sure I didn't buy like a, it was broken, I didn't see it. Cause sometimes they sell keyboards like four parts, meaning they don't know if it's working or not.
Luckily, it was cheap. Used, tested, and working. Okay. So it's listed as tested and working. Used. Mechanical model M. Okay, so I didn't buy a broken one. Let me check the pens. I'm sorry for like this troubleshooting stream, but stuff just doesn't want to work. Oh, wait a minute, let me unplug. How about? Maybe you can't recognize two keyboards. Let me unplug this keyboard. <laughs> No, I do this anyway. This is real life. It truly really is. Not the simulation. People think it is. Pins look good. Good pins. Oh yeah, I think I remember seeing a movie clip about that. Okay, I unplugged my old keyboard, new one's still plugged in. Damn. Can never be easy. I think that one movie with Michael Fassbender, that's one I think I've seen. Either, either it's like a driver's thing or I'll just buy a PS2 to USB converter and then plug it in and use that. Yeah, but it's nice. I like it. I want to try one more thing. I got to get this to work, man.
Yeah, I did. I did remove it. Thinking like, oh, maybe you can't read it because I know the keyboard is plugged in. But I, I did unplug it. Nothing changed. It still read a USB keyboard. Nothing but a PS2 connection. So I just replugged in the uh, old keyboard. Actually, go to control panel. Yeah, I was in device manager that entire time. Yeah, it does sound powerful. Add a device. 65 inch, no, nope. Office jet printer, nope. Another TV, nope. Not finding what I'm looking for. Support? No, I don't need support. Uh, device manager. I go back to that. It's reading two things as keyboard devices, though. I don't, I don't get why that would interfere with reading this, which is a PS2 connection. Alarm. PCI ports. Play advice. So many things just like just go past you. USB microphone, capture card. That's the camera. Components. Ports. Monitors, mouse. Why is it reading two different why is there, why is there two mice listed here? Two USB mice are listed even though I have one. Just like with the keyboards. Yeah, I may just have to get the uh, uh, get a PS2 to USB port uh, converter. And I want to move the inaugural typing of this keyboard to tomorrow. Firmware. Oh yeah, they're very cheap. I, I, I looked at that beforehand when I was considering buying this because I always do my research beforehand. Not knowing if this PC had a PS2 port. Eh, yeah, I'll, I'll just I'll get one. Let me get one right now. I'm not messing around with that kind of shipping. That's okay, keep on edging. Keep us on the edge of our seats, yeah. I'm gonna get Amazon two day shipping on one. I'm not waiting. Well, there again. Uh, PS-2 to USB. Got rotor. Mm. <clears throat> oh, that's us that's a USB two PS two. No. Get cable. Sixth. All right. Yeah, this should be good. Yep, screw it, I'll just get this one. Seems like it'll work. <laughs> Log in. <laughs> Keep me signed in. Two factor, I gotta love two factor. Mm.
Okay, yeah, sorry for the keyboard, but I do have a few other cool things to show, and then that'll be it for stream. Okay. Yeah. Oh, can you get it tomorrow? Oh, yes, please. Yes, thank you, Amazon. The one aspect of you that's not terrible. Okay, yeah, keyboard was a bust. Damn. Oh, the, dude, I still have the Snapchat thing on. Okay. Let me move this. Over here. Bring this here. Okay. All right. Another pretty cool thing I made is that recently got into um, AI image generation because I saw that Bing's new AI you know you know Bing the the search engine they use when Google's not working which is never Bing's new AI is apparently really good and I saw someone make a picture of or they, they asked a prompt of Spongebob in the Akira anime it looked pretty good so I went there myself to mess around, make some images, and they look pretty neat if I can find them. Where did I save them at? I don't even know where I saved them. What? Oh, wait, now I remember. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> okay, yeah, here are some of the images I made for the, or with the, the Bing AI. Let me add image. All right, this first one is, uh, the prompt, th there's three of these images. Or one, two, yeah, three. The prompt I said was spiders raining down on earth. That was a prompt. And with, with the Bing AI is that they give you um, four images, like four variations. And this is the first one. Spiders raining down on earth. And they, I like how they, they automatically gave you the red, uh, red background to like represent. Oh no, it's the uh, shit's going down. And that's the first one. This is the second one. A little bit more realistic. They they still went with the red, but now the spiders are more. You know, I guess realistic in a kind of way. Looks like a metal album cover. These kind of do. They kind of do. And then the last one. And this one. This one is kind of like a, I think, it'd be fitting of like a movie poster, maybe. Because there was a movie of like alien spiders come to Earth or something. Oh, yeah, kind of like Stranger Things, yeah. I, I remember seeing a movie about like giant spiders invading Earth. And this kind of reminds me of it. But yeah, three things. The worst, po I, I just I essentially thought of the worst possible scenario, the most, the most horrifying thing of raining spiders. All right, next one. Oh, yeah, this one. This one's based off um, a Wikipedia image that I had saved, and because I was looking for ideas for prompts to put in, this one is a uh, monkey on a typewriter. Because you know of the whole uh, situation of if you have a room of infinite monkeys on typewriters, eventually they'll compose the entire works of Shakespeare. So I thought, okay, let me take that. And and that was the prompt on the Wikipedia image, I think right here. Yeah, right here. Chimpanzee probably not typing Hamlet. So I thought, okay, let me put in a monkey on a typewriter. This looks, you know, this looks pretty neat. Very colorful with other animals. The ideas this monkey must have in his brain about what he's 
going to type or write. Raining TikTok influencers would be more scary. It would be. Dial the tier list of your favorite zoo animals. Tier list your favorite zoo animals? I guess I can do that. If I have time at the end of this segment, I'll consider doing that. Thank you for the one bit pattern. All right, next up is... Oh, this one is... Okay, yeah, this one is a strange combination. If any of you remember the old Adult Swim show called Home Movies, uh, there was a character on there, Coach McGurk, who was voiced by the guy who voices Archer and Bob's Burgers. The guy, the Bob and Bob's Burgers. Like Benjamin H. John or something. This prompt is Coach McGurk in the Akira anime. I think circa 1988, I put it as like a descriptor. What is the type? Why is the typewriter facing the other way? I mean, how is the monkey going to type? This is madness. True. I mean, he is a monkey after all, so you got to give him some leeway. You know, he, he's just not figuring out the pencil. You know, typewriter is going to be a certain distance away in learning. Yeah, this is Coach McGurk in the Akira anime circa 1988. And I picked this one specifically because this is kind of a close rendition of Coach McGurk. And also, this video camera has a dude's face in it. <laughs> a, dude's, a, dude, his, a dude's head is in the camera, and the camera lens is coming out of his head. So I, I saved this one specifically because it was funnier, and also somehow pretty close to what he looks like. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the best image made by the, the AI. All right, next up is, what's this one? Okay, yeah, this one, this one, this one was kind of good out of all four, but still not that good. This image is George Washington shooting Michael Jackson with a bazooka. Oh, man, this was a big image too. Let me turn off the thing. Yeah, this is George Washington, obviously. And then I think back here, this black guy is Michael Jackson. And then here's Washington with the bazooka, kinda. At least I think that's how it works, because... Oh, and I think for this one, I used um, DreamSpace AI, who uses, like, um, Stable Diffusion, which is, like, a different thing. But I kept trying to work with it. This is honestly the best image I think I got from it. Washington with the bazooka. I think I think the, these next two were also um, stable diffusion. This one is the Noid punching George Washington in the face, manga style. And if any of you remember, the Noid is a character I think in those old Pepsi commercials. It was like a bunny or something, like in a bunny suit kinda. It has an N on his chest. Although obviously this doesn't look like the Noid at all. This like the one on the right. I think more George Washington, but this is not the Noid. And it's in the style of a of a manga panel. I guess the Noid is too obscure of a character for the AI to know what it is and to depict that as like a character here. And there was a second image I tried to generate from this one. This I think this this is the best one by far. Cle clearly again not the Noid, but there's more, you know, there's more details, more of like facial stuff, of course. George Washington is, you know, freaked out, like, what's going on? That's also pretty, this this looks more like just like a, an outline you'll see like in a coloring book, now we have manga, maybe. But still pretty good. I try to go for crazy com combinations to get the best possible picture. With the exception of what the AI can actually do. This one is um, a single lane highway underwater. At this point, I was going for more. Abraham Lincoln gets 360 no scoped. And, and what's even more unfortunate is that that's canon. It's not a manga or anything. It's, yeah, that's just. That's your life canon. Yeah. 
at this point, at when I was messing around with the AI, I was kind of trying to go for more surreal uh, landscapes and ideas. And what's even better is that this image would then go into inspire another idea that I had. But this image was based off me trying to mess around with, um, you know, highways and water. And it's just a, yeah, a highway underwater, some cars and some trucks on the top of it. It's pretty neat. Uh, okay, this one, this one's kind of, this one I was trying to go for more of like a picture you'd see on a Twitter feed of like people talking about AI. This is a wanted poster for the capture of the cookie monster from Sesame Street. And this one, this one was almost too good. It's, it's almost, it's essentially perfect. I was hoping it would like write down a description at the bottom, but it didn't. But it's still essentially perfect. I love it. All right, next up. I think, oh yeah, okay, I think this is like the first surreal type I was going for. There was an image in my head of what this is supposed to look like, and the AI didn't, of course, didn't replicate it. This is uh, an empty void filled with filled with airplanes, <laughs> planes flying at the bottom. Now, there's an immediate contradiction right there. An empty void, Neat. and then a bottom. Those two things don't really mix. Did you mean to say Japan 360 no nuked? But thank you for the one-bit pattern. Yeah. This one was honestly the best one produced because for some reason it included a um a woman standing there, like she's at an airlines airline. And a bunch of planes there. But of course I didn't want the the cloud the clouds there. I wanted to go for like an empty void of like space, like space space, kind of. Or kind of like the void in Minecraft, kind of like that kind of thing. But it still made a very good image. And I was still going for, again, that, that whole surreal angle. POV pre-9-11, yeah. Innocent times. We were naive. Oh, okay, yeah, this one is another variation of um, Coach McGurk from the home movies in the Akira anime. And it also seemed pretty, pretty good. This one was generated at the same time with the other image of the dude in the camera with the camera lens out of, out of his head. This is a pretty close Coach McGurk. It's pretty good. Oh, and I, I continue along with the same theme. This one is uh, Coach McGurk from Home Movies in Naruto. I used uh, Bing AI, the Bing search engine. They have a new AI, I think powered by Dolly 3, it was called. And I believe Dolly 3 is like a new iteration of what was previous, which is, I guess, Dolly 2. Yeah, I, I continue along with the, you know, combining characters and anime together. This is Coach McGurk in Naruto. He's wearing like the, the, bl the, the red coat jacket. Uh, was there another one? Oh yeah, this this one is this one looks extremely good. This uh this next image was based off the underwater um underwater highway pi uh, picture, which was inspired by the idea of me wanting to generate an image of a super long highway in a, in a in a that's surrounded by ocean. There's a certain idea I was going for. So, the long highway in the ocean idea inspired the underwater highway idea and that idea inspired this image monster trucks driving on water as dolphins fly above them you, you, you want to know what's even, what's funnier i didn't specify monster trucks or dolphins the, the ai just threw those in there it turned my trucks into monster trucks and you said no, you know what flying dolphins i'll just i'll just give that to you i'll give you flying dolphins this is probably the best image out of my entire time messing with the thing. It's beautiful. It's almost majestic even.
yeah, you don't see that. <laughs> you don't see that often. Very true. Uh, I think that was that was all of them. I feel like I had more images, but oh yeah, here it is. Um, I, I didn't have much luck with the whole generate a highway in an ocean thing, but I think I got one good one, which is this one. This yeah, this was the start of my whole trying to make surreal art with the AI thing. The prompt was um, a long single lane highway surrounded by ocean. Now, of course, you have this problem is that there's multiple lanes here. And only that, some of them curve into invisible parts beneath the main, the main highway. But it's still good. It's still, it still almost reaches the idea I want. Can you allure the rings one with Gollum, the ring, and Mordor and some shit? I have no idea if uh, I don't know anything about Lord of the Rings, dude. Literally nothing. You have to like do that on your own. I don't think I have anything else. Yeah, that was all of them. That's all the pictures. I just wanted to share that because, as per usual. With everything else I do, I thought it was pretty neat. What do you mean, Donald Trump? Like, do what with it? Like, do a thing with it? You have to specify. Like, his hair hat is missing with a sick fade? I guess I can try to see, this, even if the bot is working. Okay, so uh, Donald Trump with a sick with the fade. I can't. It, I don't, it doesn't do like upload an image and like do stuff. It just generates an image from prompts. You expect too much from technology, dude. With a f with the fade in his hair, I guess. I don't think. I don't think the AI knows what a fade is. You're probably thinking of some other AI or something. This prompt has been blocked. Our system automatically flagged this prompt because it may conflict with our content policy. Okay, so apparently the bot won't allow presidents. So I mean, it's all right. Yeah, but the bot, yeah, the bot won't do presidents or like something. So I, I can't do that. Actually, I should remember that too because I tried doing some George Washington prompts and it wouldn't allow that. It just doesn't, it won't allow presidents. But I think that was everything I wanted to share. Yeah, it's just some cool things I want to show and share. Like a, like it's like a show and tell kind of.